Ralph Bowman's Norfolk Fossil Point. <laughs> Well, I'd be blowed. Hello? Hello? What are you? Oh, yes. Is that Tusk? Yeah, that's Tusk, isn't it? Look at the... We're going to look... Look at the layers in there. That's a lovely bit of tusk. Look at the colours. Wow. Beautiful. That looks nice, doesn't it? Probably not. Oh, it's a freak, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be. It's a lovely flake. Very happy if this is tuscular. The reason I say that is because it's Tusk Alley I'm in. And it is. An absolute stonking bit of tusk. Lovely. And there's uh, this. Another old piece of trunk of bone. So my theory is right, the old stuff still come out. Come on, boys. Come on, what are we doing? Going through the Watford. Oh, got my fucking finger. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my word, this is beautiful. Oh, my, look at that for a bit of bone. Oh, I didn't see that coming. That is striking. Wow. It's got a curve on it, isn't it? I reckon it might be squashed antler again. Look at the size of that beauty. That is a beauty. This looks nice. Hang on. Cool. Oh, that's a lovely... That's a lovely thing, look. No big finger tonight, please, Ralph. That's nice. This, this may not even be fossil. Oh, it is. Oh, it's lovely. Look, that other blue one the other night. Beautiful. It's a lovely chunk of bone. One chunk leads to another chunk. One chunk leads to another. Okay, I'm going to be brief because it appears that the more I do with these videos, the less people watch it. And also, uh, people stop subscribing and unsubscribe. Anyway, that's a struck flake. I think it's just debited. I don't think it's been touched into a tool at all. Nice, nice pattern on this bit of worn bone. I think I'll steer clear of these little bits of unidentifiables, really, unless they're really big.
very old bit of bone that you can tell when they're old, you know, really weathered, that's old as well. But I love the minerals that have gone into that to make it that bluey grey colour, it's beautiful. Loads of damage on this, but it's definitely struck. You can see the percussive lines and the bulb and the platform there. But it's got a lot of damage all the way round. I don't know whether it's been touched in the past and then it's gone blunt or whatever. But, I mean, it looks like it could have been a handy tool when it was sharp. Yep, tusk, lovely. Lovely little bits of tusk, these... You can clearly see the different layers of the dentine and the uh, enamel, etc. Beautiful. Got some great amounts of tusk now, love it. You see the curvature on the end, you can see how it's... I'll have to uh, trace round with a compass one day and see how that... Uh, what sort of size that uh, circle of... You know the circumference of the tusk is. Look, this one seems to have been like started to be involved in some kind of concretion on the uh, surface. There you see the curve there, and uh, yeah, there. Look, I have to follow it round with a compass one day, like I say. And, and it could be. Any type of deer, reindeer, could be an elk and that, but I think that's a big bit of squashed antler and that, due to that curvature, I believe. So, lovely. <sighs> thanks for watching and uh, thanks for the subscribers who haven't unsubscribed and uh, all that business. And uh, thanks very much and I'll see you on the next one. Over and out. <laughs>